Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Great Lakes Lacquer Billions of Beautiful Hearts and Lena Twirls and Swirls 01. I've started off with Danny Digit's Glitter Be Gone and here is the beautiful Great Lakes Lacquer in Billions of Beautiful Hearts. Another pink inspired polish that I picked up from the Polish Pickup last month. I am capping my free edge first and then I'm going to go in with my first coat of this gorgeous polish. It is lovely and such a nice formula. This is my first Great, Lake, Great Lakes lacquer polish um, and I'm pretty impressed. I like the bottle, I like the brush, I like the formula, I like the color. So it's all good over here. And this one's like a pink with a little tinge of purple to it. I don't know. Maybe that would be considered lilac. Um, but I'm going to top it with some of the Vibrant Vinyls top coat. Fast and hard. Or hard and fast. I don't, I don't know. Can't remember. And I'm going to cap my free edge there. So I'm going to do some playing. So there we go. It's gorgeous. Shimmer, shimmer. Love it. So here's the Lena Twirls and Swirls 01 plate. I'll be using this gray polish from Born Pretty Stampin' Polish, my AliExpress Stamper, and my Beauty Scraper. And I'm going to use this image right here. It's kind of a split image. I'm going to use that on my ring finger and my thumb. I've already done my thumb. <laughs> and I'm sorry I've got my hand all up in the way, but there we go. Now you can see what I'm doing. So there we go with that one. I am using a little piece of tape to get up the excess polish off of my finger. Like I normally do. And up under my finger. Because, you know, I'm always getting that messy. So there we go. And then I'm going to use this little swirly twirly image down in the corner on the rest of my nails. I'm going to use a little piece of tape to get up anything I don't want to transfer. And then I'm going to figure out how I want to place this. And I'm kind of doing, going to do it from the tip, kind of swirling up into the mani. Just a little fancy for me, you know. Let's just do that again on my other two nails. I really love this plate. I just keep going back to it. It's just, they should have named it Moon Baby Nails Plate because it's, it's got my name written all over it. I love all the images on this one. Can't get enough. Cleaning that plate off with pure acetone and a cotton ball. Using my cotton claw. And there we go. We're going to do this final one right here. And we'll be ready to head on into the next step. Because, yep, I'm doing some more stuff to this one today. Now my friend Jan will be so excited because, you know, I'm going to do something other than just stamping. I'm going to top it real quick though with some of the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. I'm just addicted to this stuff. There we go. And I'm going to be using this Get a Grip from Vibrant Vinyls and these little metal studs. <laughs> I know, I don't play with stuff like this often. And normally it's because I just forget. <clears throat> It's not that I don't like using them, I just forget. So I'm going to use a little bit of that Get a Grip to put a dot down where I'm going to apply <clears throat> the little round studs. And I'm using my Woody, he's, he's double duty in today, um, to um, apply these. And I do have a gem picker, but I just couldn't be bothered today. I went all old school. This method works just fine. This is exactly what I did long before they ever came out with them little, you know, uh, picker tools, <laughs> wax pencils, or, you know, all of that. So I was really excited to remember to, to use these this time. I really loved how they just added a, just a little bit of something, something to each of the nails. It wasn't too much. And now I'm going to top everything off with some posh top coat. Being sure to go over that little uh, 
stud real well so that it stays on my nail because I don't use glue when I do accents like this. Cap in my free edge. So there we go. We got Woody again. Sorry. We have a line mower going. Um, so there it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I have a swatch photo. Here we go. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.